Well, Maddie, thank you for helping us out. Mm -hmm. So there's just a few questions that I wanted to ask you about your classroom experience. Okay. Okay. So um, I know in this class you have expectations when you guys go into small groups. Mm -hmm. So how do you think those expectations help your learning? Um, I think those expectations kind of keep us on track when we're working with like other people in our class. Like okay. these expectations, they kind of help us share our ideas and make sure everybody's heard because one of our biggest expectations is that we make sure everybody has a chance to speak their mind and nobody is okay. trying to overrule the group and I think that gets the most benefit for everybody. Okay, great, thank you. And how does having, an, how does having those clear expectations, like the one you just mentioned, how does that make you feel as a learner? Um, I think I feel well heard because of that. Like, I am able to be heard by other peers in my class because um, if those weren't set there, we all wouldn't be able to be heard and some good ideas could be left out or a person could feel left out. So I think they're just like in the best interest of everybody. Okay, so it's a way of making sure everybody feels included. Yeah. I'm part of the group. Great. And, and so I think you might have got, gotten to it a little bit, but let's be clear. So why do you think it's important for teachers to have expectations, clear expectations when students go into small groups? Um, I think it's good to have clear expectations so that, one, we learn a lot because that's what school's about and mm -hmm. we need many different opinions because one brain or two brains, I mm -hmm. think two brains are better or four or however many. So it's good because sh then you know what you're expected to do and you can get the most benefit out of it. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much for your help.